So I literally been saying for two, maybe three years that they needed one of them dispatch control boards in the dispatcher's office. So the dispatcher knows where the cars are parked, knows how to put away, everything. So with me not being here and me coming back and seeing that, after I tried for so long to get them to have that, I'm a little bit agitated, but I'm glad they got it. But what makes me even more mad, what is this? Bro, they haven't even painted it. You can't even see the letters no more. That was beside the logo. Like, look. You guys can see there was, like, letters there at one point. Like, they repainted this part. But that don't matter because... Look at the holes in the roof. Look at this. If you're not going to use it, put a top on it. They're just leaving it to die. Same thing with this. Look at the paint. You can see the wood. The wood will fall apart without paint on it. It's just like, why? Cleaner, 
not surrounded by factories. So that was the big benefit that streetcars gave to American cities in the 1890s, 2000s, 2010s, up until the 20s. And then, uh, what? Can, anybody know what started to kill the streetcars? Buses. Well, before that, no. automobile. private automobile. Yeah. Private automobiles started to kill the streetcars, and uh, they didn't see the benefit of one vehicle moving hundreds of people, as opposed to hundreds of little vehicles moving one person a piece. Didn't register back then. So, over the years, the philosophy was. Get these streetcars out of here, they're in the way of our automobiles. Tear them up, rip them down. And uh, now our now cities, they're putting them back. now they're putting them back because hello, downtowns are not built for automobiles. Anyway, uh, the streetcars are making a huge comeback in the United States. Europe, Asia, Japan, China, they never got rid of them to the extent we did. But it was a, it was, Plan, business plan to get rid of them, sell more cars. Uh, that was the whole business plan. Get rid of them. They didn't like transit to begin with, any transit. But anyway, uh, this type of car was developed in the 30s when the, remember, the, all the transit companies were private. They weren't authorities like we have today that are funded. They had to make a profit, and these guys were losing money. So around 1930, a group of about 25 traction or trolley car presidents got together from all over the country, formed a corporate, formed a, a committee, and they said, guys, we've got to develop a modern streetcar that's going to get people back to our business, out of their cars, because the old streetcars are clunky and noisy and uncomfortable. So they formed a committee of engineers. They raised about three million bucks, which was a lot of money in 1930, and they developed the modern streetcar. Uh, the first ones came out in 1936. They looked at things as noise control. They developed what's called a resilient wheel that had rubber cushioning inside of it to cut down on noise. Uh, they discovered they put in padded upholstered seats, improved lighting, better ventilation, much better acceleration, deceleration. They, they looked at all this stuff and they came up with the modern streetcar. Because it had been developed by the presidents of all these transit companies, it had been called the President's Conference Committee car and eventually just became known as the PCC car. This is a PCC car. This is a later model, 1948, 12 years after they were put into service. and then back out and follow him in. Okay. When I go through, set the switch for Jimmy. I got it.
So the museum went okay today, I got the 1554 as you guys would see, and uh, yeah, I got a lot of projects, I think I got four or five projects down to do down there, so right now I'm going to put this vlog together, this is the last thing I'm adding to it, and I'm making a new channel, and I'll link that in the description, or when it's, on, but it's going to be operating with Logan, and it's going to have all the streetcar stuff on it, because I'm going to get a lot of that if I'm down there so I'll make a new new channel just for that and uh, hopefully you'll carry over to CSX or NS or where I walk on the railroad and go from there so that's gonna be it if, guys if you enjoyed this vlog smash that like button and comment questions or anything you want to say subscribe for more great videos this has been your boy Logan I'll see ya later <laughs>